Oh, I discovered a really cool opening trap on Twitter the other day. So there's this Twitter person, also a chess master, a data scientist I should follow. He tweeted a really cool position, which I had never seen before. This insane position occurred 116 times in Lee Chess Database, which makes more sense when you realize it follows one of I am Rosen's opening traps. And when I initially saw this tweet, I didn't realize what exactly the line was, and then I had to recreate it. So I want to share this opening trap, which for those watching, you should never try, but it's really, really cool. But the reason why you should never try it is because you do it as white, it requires you to fall into an opening trap to begin with. And it starts in this dumb gambit line, which I made a whole video about, where you go into this line, white takes, and then 97. Yeah, the, the whole video is on YouTube, but the basic point is that white should not take the knight because then white loses a queen after takes, takes, and takes. And if we look at the stats here, wow, there's 25,000 games. When did I make the video? Real quick tangent. So the crazy thing about the stats here, when I initially made this video, there were about 420 games in the variation on chess, but now there's over 25,000 people falling for the trap. RIP to the 36 people who took the queen first. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. But anyway, so the opening trap, it happens when white goes into this line and gives away a queen. And this is known to just be winning for black, blacks up a queen. But there's a really funny line, which happens after knight c3, uh, black takes on c2, knight d4, and we'll just follow the most common moves, queen g6, and now knight d5. And... Yeah, white gets some interesting initiative, holds on to the e7 pawn. Most played move is knight a6, which I think is the best move. But the second most played move is queen d6. And here we see the position that matches the tweet. And this is white to move and win. And there's no reason to ever try to enter this position. But uh, the winning move is pretty incredible for white. So I'll leave it up to chat. Oh, 41 mats saying bishop f4. Bishop f4 would sadly lose a knight. But there's a better way to lose a knight. Is knight b5. And now the queen's hit. And if queen takes knight, white wins back the queen. And it's white who's up a piece here. And the funny thing about this move is white is sacking either knight. Because black also has this move. And after bishop e3... Whichever knight is taken, the other knight will come to c7 and fork the king and the queen. So it's just some really beautiful geometry. And if we look in the database, almost no one finds it. 111 games, white played e4. Nine people found this. And white wins, like, almost all of them. Yeah, queen c5, bishop e3. And yeah, the problem for black... Even if the queen doesn't take either knight and moves to like c6, then we can see, yeah, there's a few ways to win. Engine gives takes, king d7, rook d1. And the compensation is just overwhelming. Oh, there's a funny line. Wait a minute. So let's say black just wastes a move. Knight b6, takes, and then mate. <laughs> knight goes into the corner with mate. Unfortunately, there's king e7 here but it's still somehow winning. Yeah, this is just such a such a fun position with a rook, both knights, a pawn on e7. Uh, so it goes to show that some people can, as black, can trick white, but then very quickly get into a losing position. I might put this on YouTube as just like a quick opening trap video. I want to title this video, The Coolest Opening Trap You Should Never Try.